The classic series treated time travel like a bus. It was used to deposit our heroes at one place, pick them up again at the end of the story, and that was about it. However, in more recent times, time travel has become a far more involved part of Doctor Who. Cobwebs is no exception. The story plays out like a four-dimensional escape room. Episode 1 ends with the Doctor discovering his inevitable death. Episodes 2, 3, and 4 are basically the pieces of the puzzle that we need to work out how he's going to get away with it without damaging the web of time. What makes Cobwebs unusual is that it starts a run of stories with the fifth Doctor, Tegan, Turlo, and Nyssa. Just how big Fingish have wangled this lineup is something that you'll have to listen to the story to find out, but it forms the emotional core of the entire run of adventures of the lineup. And yes, in episode one, Tegan makes a reference to something that would crop up in Time Lash. I promise you though, that's no reason to hate Cobwebs. It's a great fun tale, and it's Jonathan Morris at his time travel best.